class was on rheumatology. I really like the way the teacher articulates everything. Oh, wait. As we're getting closer, I think it's better to have a general idea of diseases and concepts than studying a long list of symptoms that I just know I'm going to forget. This is my second in-person exam simulation, so I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> I'm just bothered because I have to go there in person, so it means I have to catch a train because it's in the middle of the week. And also because I have another simulation to, to correct because the exercises take so long to get through and study. So 150 more exercises to study, so. I printed the slides for hematology first, so these are all the most relevant for hematology. I'm gonna try to stick them all together, I'm not sure it's going to work. This is gonna pop off, but we're gonna try. So today I printed hematology and I also printed infectiology. In the last simulation exam, these were the two specialties that I suffered most with, and when I say suffered, I say I've missed almost every single question. <laughs> so we have infectiology one and two, and then we have hematology. And I think this way it will be a little bit easier to review the material. I got new earphones because my ears start hurting after like two hours of headphones. I had my uh, pink ones for a really long time now, so I just get really cheap ones because they do the trick. I don't really need anything expensive at all. Let's do part one of the simulation. We'll see how we we'll feel. Okay, so we have two hours. Yep, two hours. This is the exam sheet. Uh, we have to fill it out and this will actually be corrected on a machine, I think. I don't want to look at the paper, but you know, sometimes the questions are pretty long. They put extra information in the question just to get you to read a lot of stuff and you have only a minute and a half. It's a balance between not missing, not skipping any important material and doing it in a very fast way. So, so that's part one that I'm going to do right now. I've actually procrastinated on doing this for the entirety of the day. That's why I don't study at home. 
Does this work? Hello. Let's go. So it was around this time, around mid-October, that I started to really incorporate simulation exams. I was really scared at first because they are really big exams and even though you know you're practicing, there's always this pressure to perform, even in a simulation. So I feel like the first ones really were scary for me, but then I started to get progressively better and I really started to see the benefit of doing them. You really practice the exam technique, how many seconds you have per question, if you read the answers first or you go really through beginning to end in a question, it really changes from person to person. And so that's why I'm super excited to introduce this video sponsor, which is Luxurio. If you're studying for your medical board exam, like step one, step two, or anything kind of based on it, like my Portuguese board exam was, Luxurio is launching their self-assessment week from February 26th to March 4th. You will be able to complete a medical board exam completely for free. So you'll have an entire week to complete the 100 60 clinical case questions. They're organized into four blocks and afterwards everyone will get their three digit score as well as a percentile. You can see kind of where your range is if you're so inclined. Also in the Luxurio platform you'll have access to the correction of each question as well as review points and objectives and recommendations for the things that you got most wrong, the areas that you have more gaps in. I'm going to leave all of this information in the description box as well as the link that you can use to register for free for your self-assessment. Thank you so much to Luxurio for working with me in today's video and thank you so so much to every viewer for making this possible. Good luck to everyone also studying for their medical board exams. How is that tuberculosis? Constrictive pericarditis is caused by pericardial scarring and thickening that result in diastolic heart dysfunction. Patients present with signs of decreased cardiac output. The fluffy sweater is back. It is kind of cold today. tired today. Last night was kind of rough. I'm gonna meditate a little. I'm gonna get some coffee and then we're gonna start and it's gonna be okay. To 
Today I have cardio and psych review and I wanted to finish correcting a past paper. I corrected the first half and I wanted to correct the second half. I've been printing out these revision slides. For some reason I can't find, what do you call this thing? Where you clip the pages together. <laughs> I can't find that. So the pages are now completely loose. I have cardio and psych and I just printed psych today. But I've been putting them here and this is not really working. It's really disorganized. So I got this folder. I normally put here my piano pieces. However, I desperately need one of these and I can't find anything else. So my piano pieces are gonna have to go for now. And I'm gonna put the slides all organized in here. days left 20 days that's just insane but we're here like always and we're gonna try to do our best i'm going to finish revising pediatrics i started yesterday so beautiful outside it's a beautiful sunny winter day at this point i try to put on different exercises and study through the gold slides Today I'm going to the movies because tomorrow is my rest day finally. I'm watching the premiere of The Marvels. I'm excited to do something fun. I need to get some baked goods because there's nothing at home and I can't survive today without baked goods. I need to move my gear and <laughs> it won't go no matter how much I push and I'm pretty sure that's not normal at all because it normally goes like bloop, like a regular gear so when it does this I, i'm too scared to push it because i feel like i'm gonna break something but now we're moving i had to push really really hard uh, also my windows are completely fogged on the outside which is great we are moving from Lisbon. We had a wonderful trip, very Christmassy and sunny. Today, the security guard at our building is gonna throw a little get together gathering. You know, we see them every single day, almost every single day for months. And so they know us, we know them, they're super nice. So it's really weird to think that we're not gonna see them for a really long time. It's gonna be next week, the board exam. It's insane. 
it's crazy. I'm just thankful for everyone that made this process these few months so much kinder and more gentle than I thought it would be. Now I'm in the mall because I need to get the watch for the exam. We are not allowed to have digital watches of any kind, only analogic watches. And so I need to get one. And I especially wanted one that had the seconds clock thing. So let's go. I want to get home as fast as possible so I can have a good night's sleep. Today is the last full day. It's the last full day. So I made this document. This is just part of it. I didn't print all of it, but it has those tiny weird stuff that we have to memorize. Table just for scores and then I made one just for specific genes that they like to ask as well. Very difficult to memorize. I get lost in all of this, but these are the de developmental development stages of the babies. so quiet which is nice i'm just not used to quiet still haven't gotten dinner yet though so i may have to go out i need to shower i'm really tired i spent an hour in traffic just now the traffic was horrid it was disgusting i used to get in all confused miss them all it just it's this feeling of like doom <sighs> now i have to do this all over again but it's okay because we've done this before we can do this again we're just going to hydrate get some food in <sighs> and then we'll be done for the better for the worse it will be over yeah